strict rules, money, lavish living. New evidence unsealed against two of the suspects accused of trafficking women and running high-end brothels in the Boston area. Prosecutors presented these items just before the suspects appeared in court today. WBZ's Christina Rex is live outside of federal court in Worcester tonight. And Christina, those suspects, they're going to be staying in jail, correct? Yeah, they are for right now, Chris. So both defendants who appeared today, that's the so-called ringleader and her alleged employee, voluntarily agreed to stay behind bars for now. Now, as a reminder, we don't have pictures of them because no cameras are allowed inside federal court. But they did both appear at the same time in handcuffs for a very quick hearing this afternoon. And at the same time, we're learning new details in this court paperwork about the evidence that was seized. This was filed by a Homeland uh, investigator about the evidence seized inside those apartments. Investigators say ringleader Han Lee concealed a million dollars cash through various money transfers to hide the prostitution ring she was running out of Cambridge, Watertown, Dedham, and Virginia. We're doing our talking through the court hearings and the court papers. U.S. Attorney Josh Levy has been tight-lipped since he was at a podium weeks ago, claiming the brothel's clients include politicians, doctors, and more. Court documents filed Wednesday reveal that in their searches of the apartments in question, police discovered 16 plus cell phones, bulk condom packages, bulk lubricant, lingerie, pregnancy tests. Plus, they confiscated this Corvette they say defendant Jun Myung Lee bought with his cash from the illegal job. I can tell you that he's a very nice man and he's doing the best he can with a difficult situation. His attorney offered little new information about his client Wednesday and claims he doesn't have the information everyone wants, the list of Johns. I don't know any of the names. I don't know anything about it. So I don't have that kind of information to, uh, to provide. Court documents also reveal text messages about how the brothel worked. Lines read, always money first, money first. Turn on the TV in the living room. These days, people work from home a lot. Please turn on the song while working. Don't go outside with heavy makeup. Keeping your word is keeping everyone safe. And never talk on the phone in the hallway of the apartment. Many Koreans live here too these days. The plan now, the defendants will stay in prison while their lawyers figure out next steps. We uh, want to... Uh, Make sure if we decide to argue for release that we have a very strong plan in place. You you know, we don't have that yet. And there is no next court date planned just yet. Now, coming up, the court paperwork reveals that investigators believe at least one of the defendants may have lied on her immigration paperwork and about her alleged marriage. I'll explain coming up at 6. For now, live in Worcester, Christina Rex, WBZ News. All right, Christina, thank you.